Hello and welcome back to Football Tactics and Glory and Manchester's journey to the Premier League. My name is Rio and in last episode we came away with our second consecutive win over Little Rock. 2-1 to one off of the head of Hemphill and the good goalkeeping of Hinojosa. Now today we try to keep this trend going as we really make an effort to turn our season around and it's we can still do it. As I remarked in last episode, we are only four points away from a promotion position. There's a lot of teams in this middle area of the standings. And we take on one of them in Albuquerque. Nope, never mind. Albuquerque is not in the middle. They are in the relegation zone right now. So it is another team that we can definitely beat. But what setup are they going with? This is the setup that they've decided to go with for for this game. Now, Espinosa is not the person I want to take on when it comes to this. So that means Thacker can't really be a part of this. And we do have multiple, multiple wing forwards. This is not an easy offense for us to get by. So McCree's going to be there. And they also have a central forward. On the end, that's that's unusual. Not gonna be easy to defend against this team. I Oof. yes. I put no. Uh, then we still have the central forward to deal with. Anyways, uh, we'll set up the offense and then worry about the defense. So, for this offense, Hemphill is going to be moving to the other side. Now, they have central defenders in there. We could get Greer in the path if possible, but my bigger thing is bringing Osborne in. And Osborne is going to be crossing to Hemphill, going up against Ellison instead of Thacker crossing as he goes up against Espinosa. Now, he is still a central defender, so he's going to have level 1 head play, but that versus Hemphill with level 4, I think we've got a pretty good setup against that. As for the midfield, I'm still good with Peterson in his current position. Same with... Well, no, Bowers might have to be the one who goes back. Here. Bowers goes back, then we can keep everything else the same here. And maybe can we move? Okay, so now it would start with Haynes, and that's not what we want. Yeah, Albuquerque has a unique setup here, and it's given us a bit of a challenge. Now McBride on the defensive midfield side is going to make things difficult as well, but I think we should still be able to get the pass to Osborne fairly easily uh, to start the game, and then after that we've got the layoff pass, which will get us by McBride. Anyways, that is, I guess, the setup we're going to be going with. Uh, the gone is the stronger player when it comes to control, so Thornton is going to move over to the right side while Novak combats Raymond on the other side. This might actually be a game where we take out Greer, because I don't like not having a defensive midfielder. We're going to do that and see how it works out. So Hatfield is going to be in, trying to get us any chances to keep it from their offense. But here we go. Manchester versus Albuquerque. Can we overcome their unique set of players and setup here to come out with another win? And Peterson will be starting with the ball. And we're immediately going over to Osborne. Osborne is able to get it. Going to move to the corner. And is going to cross here. 
And that's exactly what we were looking for to start out. Hemp Hill scores and Osborne is already, already showing why it was a good idea to make him a universal midfielder. That's the most impactful thing he's done in quite a few seasons, I feel like. And the pass to Pagan goes to Thornton instead. And Cherry tries to take it from Thornton, and that's not working out. But Pagan is able to take it. Now, I could go with Haynes on this, but... We're going to press with Thornton if Haynes a better chance, and Haynes is able to take it, thankfully. But he's not going to be able to get it to others. Thankfully, Cherry isn't able to intercept this one. Raymond comes back for it. Now, he could get it to Pagan and get the shot off. That's indeed what they're doing. Pagan with the ball. Goes for the shot, kicked away by Childress. And in... In goes Hemphill, which gives... Now Peterson has the ball, and Peterson... To try and get it to Hemphill, could also do a layoff pass to Osborne. We're going to try and get it to Hemp Hill, and it is gotten there, right in front of goal, but taken away by Marino. And Marino has the long pass to get it to Dobbins here, and Dobbins manages to get it by, Ch by Hatfield to Cherry. Cherry goes for the shot, kicked away by Childress. Now, uh, how can we get an extra action here? Haynes, one, two, three, four, five. Can't get it to Osborne yet. Oh, that's not what I meant to hit. I meant for them to swap positions, so we're in a bit of a bind there. Pearson does get the ball, and he's going to lay off pass to Osborne on the edge there. And up comes Nixon for it. Nixon easily takes it away. And moves further up. And Peterson coming over. He's going to get a press off. And Hemphill is going to move into the box. What are they going to do here? He tries the pass and it's intercepted by Peterson. But Raymond is right there with the slide tackle. But he doesn't go for the slide tackle. He goes for the regular tackle. And then moves over. Alarcon moves over. Anyways. We're going to press with Raymond... Novak comes up, and Novak can't take it. So Haynes... No, Thornton is going to move down. Haynes moving up. So he can perhaps challenge anything that comes there. Nixon's going up. We are so far out of position now. And the pass does go to Cherry here. And Cherry goes for the shot, and thankfully, it doesn't work out. Thornton goes for the tackle. That doesn't work. They go for it again, and that's still not working out. And one last try, and thankfully, that one does work.
So the pass is going to Hatfield. And in goes Cherry. We are... Oh no, I forgot about the slide tackle. Dobbins takes the ball. And Dobbins gets it by Peterson to Raymond. Raymond passes to Cherry in the box. Cherry against Hinojosa. And Hinojosa! Oh, he's, he's showing some good goalkeeping skills as of late. Gonna try and pass it to Peterson. That doesn't work out. So we're going to press with Peterson. Give Novak a chance to tackle. That doesn't work. And now Osborne will move back. And that will end the first half. We managed to keep them off the scoreboard, although they controlled 63% of possession and got four shots off. So their unique setup on offense is getting them opportunities. They're just not working out, thankfully, because their team, their, their forwards aren't spectacular. They're all right, but nothing too special. So they will start with the ball in the second half, and we will try to keep them off the scoreboard continuing. And I'll move Bowers up to this position so we've got a better chance of intercepting that initial pass. But here we go. Manchester trying to seal the win here. Pagan gets the ball. Moves down and loses it to Thornton. But Pagan is motivated, so we could try and take it back. No, never mind. He can't take it back. Thornton can't quite get it to Peterson. Peterson comes back for it. And can't get a layoff pass to Hemphill, obviously. But... Can we get anything to Osborne? No, I don't think we can get anything to Osborne. Uh, Raymond's there, so it might be a bit risky to keep it with Peterson. So instead, we're just going to pass to Hemphill, who manages to take it. Can he keep control of it? No, he can't. He loses it on the slide tackle by Espinoza, who passes to Dobbins, and we're looking at pretty much the same issues as before. Dobbins moves down. He's going to cross it, and it's a bad cross. Ends up at the at goal. And Ahosa is able to get it to Peterson here. And Peterson's layoff pass is going to get Osborne into position. So we're going to try the cross, even though it's not necessarily the best chance. And Hemphill just casually, casually bicycle kicks it in to give us a 2-0 lead. Great first pass from Hitohosa. Then another one from Peterson. And that gives us a much more comfortable lead. Pagan takes the ball. And Pagan just moves back. So this is going to be Bowers coming over. And we're going to press with Bowers. And move Hemphill further into the box. And down comes Dobbins. And Dobbins can't go for the cross from here, but he can go for the shot, and it's saved by Hinojosa. He, he's been getting a lot of action recently and performing well against it. So Haynes, of course, will be taking that position. As for the other spots, Thornton takes the back. And so does Novak. And starting out, yep, Haynes manages to take it. Cherry is motivated. 
And Dobbins is right there. So my worry is that slide tackle of Dobbins. And yep, that's indeed what they do. And Dobbins has the ball right in front of goal. And this time, Hinojosa is not able to do anything about it. We have a 2-1 game, but that, that second goal is now looking really big for us. Pass gets to Osborne. And Osborne trying to get us a hat trick, and that's exactly what we get. Hemphill and Osborne going what they got. And Dobbins is starting to get tired. But Pagan still has the energy, is able to get down, manages to keep this one from Thornton. Now he could go for the cross. That is what he's doing, and we have a 3-2 game. There's not much we could do on that one. And this time... Osborne isn't able to get it. So instead, it's going to be Hemphill who moves over to take this. And Hemphill, who go just goes for the shot, and it is saved out of bounds against Marino. So Peterson is going to take this. Osborne is going to serve as the distraction in the back, and Hemphill will take front post as we try and get our two goal lead back. And they are really focused on Osborne here. Osborne obviously loses position and Hemphill was out dueled in the air by Ellison. Hemphill comes over and now we gotta try and keep the ball, maybe get another chance on goal. It Works there. But can he keep it from McBride as well? No, he can't, but Hemphill is motivated now. Hemphill is able to take this away. Unfortunately, getting a cross in is going to be difficult. Hemphill gets it through one, can't get it through another. Hemphill goes for the tackle and is able to take it from Ellison. Ellison's now motivated. Alicon is right there, and the goalkeeper takes it. And with Marino, they can start a counterattack here. Albuquerque is looking to tie this game. Dobbins with the ball. He's coming all the way down. He's gonna be able to get a cross off. And it's a bad cross. We managed to keep it. Inojosa passes to McCready. McCready passes to Bowers. And Bowers is going to kick this upfield. And we have managed to triumph over Albuquerque for our third consecutive win. Bit nerve-wracking at the end there. They controlled possession for a lot of the game. We weren't able to get that fourth goal, despite a couple good chances at it. And in the end, it still works out. And once again, we have to thank Hemphill and Hinojosa for that working out. End of the match, Hemphill, Peterson, and Thornton. No love for Osborne. But Hatfield gets... Level up, as does Novak, as does Childress. And we don't have any upgrades, although we got some good progress for some players. Haynes is really close. And we got a good deal of gold, good deal of glory, good deal of fans, all, all good there. Milwaukee and Madison tied 1-1. One one. Jacksonville and San Jose tied 3-3. Birmingham beat Little Rock. San Antonio beat Nashville. And Oklahoma City and Tampa tied. And Newark and Des Moines tied. We've got to have moved up to the standings after that. There were four ties. And we have indeed moved up to 7th. 
And now we are... Well, now we're still four points behind San Antonio for a potential promotion position, but that's a bit ambitious to think about in the first place. We are just hoping we can avoid the relegation zone for a little longer. Hempel added three goals. Dobbins added zero for Nashville. Assists. Thacker didn't add any. It was all Osborne today. Thacker didn't even play. Tackles. Bowers didn't have any tackles. Haynes had two. Saves. Once again, Hinojosa is not on here, but he might be creeping his way on sooner or later. So our next game will be an away game against San Jose before our first Liberty Cup match against Billings. Now, Billings is a first league club, so this is not a game I'm sweating too much, but we still have to deal with San Jose, and we've had problems with San Jose in the past with McQueen and all that, but their offense is definitely something we can handle, as is their defense. Now that we have Osborne, as a universal midfielder, I think we can absolutely deal with them. And hopefully we don't have to have a setup like this next time. I hope you enjoyed this episode and that you will join me for the next one. Why am I on control with Childress? Is that just... I, I don't think that's necessary. I think keeping him on defense is what makes sense. Control on Hinojosa is something I'll consider after a few more level-ups. Anyways, as I was saying, I hope you enjoyed this episode and Manchester continuing its winning ways. Comment below your thoughts on the episode. Are we ever going to have a clean sheet again? And subscribe to keep following Manchester's journey. Have a great day and happy gaming.